What was your first car? A 1978 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme Gray. We got some a hot monster, wheels. And you? A 1985 white Buick Riviera. It was like driving a couch. It was safe. Very safe, safe. Okay. yeah. That's why I our mean, parents did it. You couldn't put a dent in that thing if you tried. <laughs> All right, so Joe Newman's first car had far less horsepower than ours, so he learned how to drive on a Model T. 10 News reporter Bobby Lewis is on the road in Sarasota, where a man has been driving for almost nine decades and still loves the thrill of the road. What feels good? Never in my life did I ever think I would be able to afford a Mercedes. Joe Newman finally has his dream car. And it keeps you young. And he's been dreaming for a long time. If you're going to drive slow, get in this lane. Joe is 106. Four years ago, he bought this red Mercedes convertible from his podiatrist, which didn't exactly help his lead foot. Well, usually I'll drive around 74 on the highway. I'm driving slower than I used to. Since then, every and trip is a treat. Okay. That red convertible is his baby. He takes better care of that thing than I think most of us take of our cars. People will put up their thumb and everybody looks and then uh, if I stop someplace, can I take your picture with it? A celebrity? Yeah, I was. Joe learned to drive on a Model T. So what was your first car? <laughs> oh, you children. A, <laughs> a big six Studebaker. It was a 26. He's become known around Sarasota as the guy in the red racer. His license won't expire until 2022. You know, when you're my age, you're living day to day. You don't know whether you're going to get up tomorrow or not. The fact that I'm still driving, yes, makes you feel that you're still part of the world. Born the year after the Titanic sank, Joe has seen a lot in his life. Now he's enjoying it at a little quicker pace. We could take it out on the highway and see how fast they'll go. <laughs> no, I don't think we need to do that today. We'll be okay. I don't think we do either. <laughs> Oh and he's funny oh too. Oh my goodness. Did you see that guy didn't even have glasses on? No, he's sharp. He's so sharp. And had a Studebaker. Studebaker was in the movie Annie. Just I to give you the timeline. It, yeah. 1926. This guy's unbelievable. Joe says he really only drives to and from doctor's appointments. Uh huh. <laughs> but he loves every single mile behind the wheel. He's a good driver. And he says he's not a fan of slow drivers. <laughs> Joe will turn 107 <laughs> in January.